And what we are going to present is a non-formal learning environment built in a business context of a company. And um, we are going to cover the different, uh, maybe not all, but uh, some of the different uh, software engineering uh, uh, techniques that we have applied. Well, first of all, uh, we are going to talk about the necessity. After that, we describe the background and requirements. Later on, uh, we, we will talk about how we have uh, uh, the, the solution that we decide to use is Moodle and how we have deployed this Moodle in a cloud server uh, allowing uh, 30,000 students and uh, the problems that we have found. And uh, finally, we pull some conclusions. Okay, uh, if you see this, do you think they are learning? Could be, because they are talking. Is is I think is uh, such as our coffee breaks that we begin to talk with other and we begin to um, uh, explain what you are doing. Okay, it's a it's a way to learn. So in this case, we do you think they are learning? <laughs> well, it can be also. They, are, they, they could be learning because uh, it's a context, more formal maybe context, in which people is, is learning. And in this case, they are not enjoying at all. Are they learning? The idea is that we don't learn only in a context, uh, a structured context defined by the, the institution. We are learning out of the institution. And when we talk about learn out of, in of the institution, I have a problem with the transition of, okay. I will try to be aware in order to come back. Um, if we talk about a learning out of a formal institution, um, we should talk about two kinds of learnings. Uh, Non-formal learning that used to come out of the institution, but in a structural way in which the user knows that, uh, the, sorry, the student knows that uh, he's learning or she is learning. And in other case, we have, we can talk about um, informal learning in where the user um, maybe not, is not knowing that he or she is learning. For instance, when we have, uh, when we are at the coffee breaks and when we begin to, work, to talk between us. Uh, so there are different ways to learn, and we should think uh, that in companies, for instance, it's very common this kind of thing. They need to uh, promote people, they need to prepare people to, to give them new skills in order to uh, carry out their, their jobs uh, more efficiently, okay? So I think it's a, another important uh, context of learning. In this case, uh, as in other contexts, uh, it's a very important to use uh, the technology. One of the most uh, spread and uh, popular technologies right now are the LMS, LMS or LCMS, depending on the view that you are giving to the, to the system. The idea is to provide a place to teachers to um, maintain a, a traditional model of a class, okay, and um, provide for students with a set of tools and contents that they can use uh, and a place where they can, found, or, or they can find other, other peers and talk with them and interact with them. And uh, authors and, and content designers, they uh, have also their role because they have to place information there. Okay, but what happens when you put this in a big company? Maybe you found problems because well, maybe you find problems because um, 
we are not talking about a class, we are talking about a big company. Companies have different uh, times, uh, timing, sorry. Uh, companies have different necessities, the requirements used not to be the same, and we should think in other kind of solution or in the use of the solution in other ways. Okay, so we are going to talk about how this uh, has been applied to uh, Sun, uh, Sun Edison companies. And Sun Edison is a, a solar, um, solar technology research, uh, uh, research uh, company that is uh, uh, was born in, in the USA in Missouri in 1957, I think, and uh, they are uh, they have a, they have I think 3,000 uh, 3, employees, and uh, also they are working with external uh, companies uh, that also need to to have your information and to learn uh, and, and knowledge about what, is, uh, what they are selling, for instance, okay? So we are uh, talking about around 30,000 students. Okay, this is more or less the, um, the idea. We have uh, talking about uh, a company uh, founded in Missouri in 1959. More than uh, uh, 3,300 uh, employees around the world. They have uh, an, uh, some headquarters in California. They have some headquarters in Spain, in Madrid. And they have also uh, one headquarters in uh, India. Uh, so, well, um, they decide that they have, uh, they have a necessity that is to uh, teach their, their employees about the technologies they were using. Okay, so they talk with us in this case, and uh, they necessity uh, they, they they need okay they think okay we need for learning something like that we need uh, different learning modalities we we need something that support blended learning online learning um, in in fact that support face to face learning uh, some system that could be multi language because we are talking about um, about different. Uh, um, different people in different countries, something that could be flexible and customizable that we can change, that we can uh, upgrade in case uh, there are uh, some new releases. Uh, scalable, so we can add new services, we can support more students. Robust, secure, and private, uh, because uh, they are talking about uh, information of a company, so it's not the same necessity that in other cases. Uh, something that provides a, 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 a way to track the process of the of the of what the students were doing um, that uh, maybe uh, that may uh, <coughs> include some ways to define learning programs and uh, that was uh, support standards in order to integrate contents uh, contents and activities and that was uh, supported by a big community, proven and easy to extend. So we decided to use Moodle. Okay, why to use Moodle? Well, because it's very popular, because a lot of people is using it, because there is a big, uh, a big uh, a community of developers supporting it, and uh, we think that this, this solution could be the most effective. In fact, uh, it, it is used in different contexts, as, as you can see, in the image, okay. So, well, why not to use it? The problem was that it was not enough. It, won't, it was not enough uh, because we need to add some other functionalities. Uh, Moodle the, uh, does not satisfy or did not satisfy the, the requirements, entirely the requirements of the company. So we uh, need to um, define some functionalities to change how the course were visualized because uh, the, the company has the necessity to have um, uh, um, a screen in which the users could see their courses but also their progress. If uh, it has been started, it is in progress, it has been completed, so uh, we need to change this. Also, uh, they asked to add uh, more information in some reports. Some reports are okay, but they need more information. 
or deal with groups uh, or with areas. They have areas. They are working in the USA, they are working in Europe, and it's different. We have also to define ad hoc SQL reports in order to provide them information. Uh, to define an incentive management system in order they can define something that goes beyond budgets, okay? That uh, allows the, the people in the company to define um, for groups and for areas, uh, different kind of scales, different kind of uh, awards associated to a scale when people uh, have a label, they, they can, I don't know, they can, uh, or they, they have the chance to, to win a, an award or something like that in order to promote uh, or to make more uh, attractive this kind of, the, the learning they were doing. Uh, they need to integrate this with their, um, their older uh, LMS that was BrainSark, it's a um, commercial solution. And uh, they, after that, they, uh, we, we detect also some necessities such as like, the definition of a training program visualization because uh, in Moodle you can link one course to another by using the complexion condition. And the idea was to define uh, uh, what they know, what they call training program in order we can uh, order the different courses that a student has to, has to learn. And finally, to define uh, some complete reports that could help us also. To do this, we define different stages. The first stage was the, the definition of the requirements. After that, we begin to, uh, the, I'm sorry, the, the definition and analysis of the requirements. After that, we begin to uh, design it and develop it. And uh, finally, we have talking about installation and maintenance. Regarding Moodle deployment, well, here we, we found a problem because we were talking about different users this, uh, spread all around the world, and that's not easy. The installation in this case is hard. So we proposed at the beginning uh, to, to, solu uh, to, to, to solve this problem uh, by uh, using different servers, uh, in this case, three physical servers with five virtual servers, two for web, two for uh, database, and one for the development, a storage area network, two load balancers, two physical firewalls, and 20 megas of dedicated bandwidth, which is important in this case in order the, the student have uh, the, the, the idea that they are working properly and uh, fluently, okay? And uh, another problem we have was the availability. Uh, we have to think that uh, if uh, we are talking about a system that is going to be used at the USA, at the Spain, at Australia, uh, we have no um, non-use hours. So the system should be on all the time. That's uh, why we begin to think about how to achieve this. What propose, we propose this, and the company give us this. Uh, the company decided to use uh, Amazon Web Services. Now, I don't know if you know them. It's, uh, well, it's a solution, it's a possibility. And they provide us two areas, uh, the US area and the Europe area. In the Europe area, they provide us uh, two servers, two virtual servers. Are this, I don't know if this is working. Uh, maybe not. No, it's not working. Okay. Wait. These two servers, we have another server for the database that was replicated in the USA. We have two masters, and uh, in case this server database uh, needs uh, have a problem, one of these wake up and, and I has the, uh, uh, was going to do the deal. Uh, here we have uh, two elastic load balancers. So depending on the area in which you are, they're going to give you access to here or to here. The information here and here is the same. We are using a cloud uh, um, cluster database in order to, to have the information and we have using also uh, NFS view volume in order to store the information that Moodle requires. So all information show 
uh, all information that we uh, showed to the, to the students was the same independently of the area in which they were. Um, in case one of these servers uh, fails, the other will do the job. In case one of the areas fail, the other will do the job, okay? So the high viability was more or less supported. For us, uh, the, maybe the problem was not to have this physically. In a cloud, it's difficult uh, to, to deal with some, some issues. In fact, uh, one of our problems nowadays is the, that a Moodle needs to share content, and that content is uh, stored in an NFS volume, and all people is accessing at the same NFS volume. So sometimes it's not quick. It's not, it's, it's not uh, uh, so fluent as we would like. Okay. Um, in addition, we have to think about how we develop, not only how we deploy the, the model, but only, uh, also how we develop the different uh, functionalities. Um, and we have defined two ways to do this. One is hard coding the functionalities into Moodle, and the other is by defining modules, which is, uh, I think, a better solution. The hard coded functionality is uh, a less portable solution because you have to change Moodle libraries, Moodle views, define new views, etc. But it's uh, easier to develop. Okay, Just the only thing you need to well, easy to develop. It depends on the on the on the point of view. But uh, if you know how Moodle is working, it's easy to change something and to upload it. The problem is if you upgrade Moodle, the functionality you have developed uh, is not going well. Can, can may, maybe don't. Maybe, maybe it cannot uh, work. Uh, some of the tasks uh, involved are here. We have defined uh, in this way uh, the course view um, home that, 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 that uh, include all the, the courses that uh, is uh, currently uh, associated to our users and the state in which they are. Here you have an icon that is related with if it is new, in progress, or completed. Um, we have also defined um, a schematic view of this and the training programs. For instance, if you are a user, you know, okay, I have here the energy saver power uh, sales, uh, sales part, okay? So I have to do this course and this course and this course and this course. In fact, uh, if we want, we can, uh, we can show them the name of the course, but uh, uh, do not allow them to access to it. Okay, so they only can access to the course when they have finished the, the previous one. That is something that Moodle is not doing currently. They only show you the, well, sorry, they show you the courses that you have access to, and also uh, you have a link to all of the other courses. And all of, this could be uh, easily hard-coded also. And finally, we complete some other, um, other functionalities we develop, but as add-ons. Uh, the definition of add-on is a, an independent plugin that could be uh, deployed in an independent folder that is not so linked to a Moodle version, but could be, okay? Because sometimes Moodle decides to change the way in which uh, plugins are done, and um, the portability of the plugins in this case is, is different. And, uh, uh, well, Mm, we define the requirements, <clears throat> how, how it is deployed in the platform, and uh, the specific implementations that we were going to do. The main problems, uh, wait, I have a problem with that. Wait, 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 don't worry, I'll do it. Okay. I'm not going to do the presentation again, don't worry. Okay. So we were here, yeah. Uh, what we have developed in this way, two different uh, model completion reports, uh, a system to manage incentives, and uh, to do this, we have followed a common structure in Moodle with renderers uh, trying to, uh, to follow a uh, Modern uh, model view control uh, pattern. So uh, we have the renderer, we have the, the the model with the user, the category, category of course, and category users, and the 
we have also the control, um, the controller here with uh, some of the activities. Okay, here you have uh, some screenshots of the of our incentive uh, system. As uh, I have told you, it's similar to budgets, but it's not the same because um, the problem they have, the problem they, they have is uh, the, they have different uh, context areas, so they have to uh, make different scales, uh, different incentives, and uh, categories for different uses. Finally, as a conclusion, um, we need to say that um, we have to decide, uh, we have to study the, the different uh, necessities for a blended, uh, sorry, for a non-formal uh, uh, system as, as was this, uh, what, what this uh, company requires. We decide to use Moodle. Uh, we have to uh, define the requirements. We have to analyze the, the system and uh, define specific implementations. For these implementations, we have found different problems, and, but our main problems maybe are, have been in the cloud installation, in the content sharing, in the support that the company has given us, which was not very good. And uh, we have had uh, changes of the requirements uh, during the development, which is a problem. Always is a problem. So uh, this uh, has cost us a lot of time. Uh, the, the project uh, seems that it uh, is not, it's not going never to finish, so uh, it was not easy. And now we are thinking on the second stage of the project. We are not uh, saying that we are going to, to do it, but we are thinking on the second stage that wants to uh, integrate uh, the system with uh, their um, CMS by using web services, by exchanging things. And uh, well, It's a hard stage, it's an expensive stage, and they have uh, very specific um, necessities. The problem is that the company has by uh, has bought uh, another two companies, so it's not maybe the, the moment to think in, in this kind of thing. So uh, maybe this stage is going to be delayed. 